copyright material will be used under this act. No profit or for no profit to myself in any shape, form, or fashion. For educational and teaching purposes only. Shalom, shalom, I'm just Kapari, a.k.a. Pops out of GM at Chicago with a brief sit down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. To the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, the um, elder bishops out of Connecticut, distinguished traveling gentlemen such as uh, uh, Apostle Ramlam, Elder Big Gad, Apostle uh, Manata Zak, and things of this nature. Uh, El and, uh, 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 <clears throat> I send uh, double honors because these men do rule well, just to name a few. But for the purpose of uh, this, like I said, I'm going to use some of this information here in this in this movie here. And as you can see, it says Superfly 1972 documentary, One Last Deal. Uh, and this actually caught, came about, I'm going to give a quick little backdrop. This came about because uh, we got a little thing here in Chicago where we uh, see different little messages and things of this nature. Anyway, long story short, the guy that did the soundtrack for this movie, uh, has put out some very spiritual movie. And we know that uh, spirits can be uh, riled up or soothed through music. You know, uh, they, they you, uh, as a matter of fact, that was David's first call to fame was uh, him playing a harp for King Saul to soothe him of the, the demonic uh, 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 demons and whatnot that was plaguing him and things of this nature to soothe him. Anyway, this 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 Edomite, um, and like I said, I probably go title this Esau pushes deceptive practices. This Edomite, through his witchcraft, which movies and music and things of this nature is part of his witchcraft that he's used to uh, influence and 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 and, and manipulate and, and and set the mindset of uh, the Israelite uh, in place where it's just of deceit and death and, and, and things of this nature. So with that being said, I'm going to let a little bit of this play um, just to kind of set the mood because, like I said, I remember I remember this movie, and this is one of the, the three movies or four movies that I named that I said absolutely corrupted the, uh, the Israelite community. Uh, especially that of the Southern Kingdom, the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Uh, um, this, is, this is one of the three movies that corrupted it. You had the Mac that came out. This came out, I think, a little bit before that, but either way it goes, however, you had the Mac. You had this movie, Superfly. You had uh, uh, Scarface. And if anybody can remember back in the, the uh, what, the, the 90s and early 2000s, how they always had a picture of uh, Tony Montana, and they said, and, and even in mansions, and they said, you, you know, you not, you not legit if you ain't got a picture of Tony Montana in your spot, things of that nature. And then uh, Wesley Snipes in New Jack City. Those are some. Those are four of the movies that absolutely did do nothing but bring uh, disgrace, shame. And, and, and destruction of our people to the streets. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this because this was actually one of the more more influence, influential, uh, influencing movies of his of his era. Okay, so let me let this play. You see, and I was talking to a young man in one last deal, and see, the premise of this movie was Ron O'Neill, the guy you saw, Priest, 
with the long hair was the one that uh, wanted to do one last deal and get out of the game. Okay, get out the dope game. And when he said six months and thirty million dollars, that was a that was a, a astronomical number to people in the in the hood that had never seen or even thought about being able to turn that kind of money. And when they thought that that was actually a possibility, and, and, and as they say, a pitch is worth a thousand words, okay, and a movie speak volumes, okay. And this, is, and I mean, this Cadillac with this nose and whatnot and this type of thing, I hadn't seen any Cadillacs riding around the city of Chicago, 1972, like this until this movie dropped. Once this movie dropped, you saw it all. You saw it all over the place. People went, literally went out and bought El Dorado Cadillacs and had them doped out just like. If you look at the word I just used, doped out decked out just like this thought that they was really really doing something big okay okay so so he put he pushed the wealth of of of, of a illicit trade into the face of poor individuals and let them see a number that they could have could not have ever imagined and they went for it, you know, and uh, uh, and, he, he, and as a matter of fact, there's a verse in one of Ice T old songs. Uh, I think it's called "Hustler," where it's it's, it's, it's a verse that goes kind of along that same line, where you know, uh, the wealth they flaunted it, and he wanted it. And this type of thing, and it's in the song "Hustler," okay. And that that was that was part of the New Jack City soundtrack. So, like I said, as you can see here, it says Curtis Mayfield produced one of the greatest soundtracks in cinematic history. Down here in the comments section, but he also produced some of the the biggest songs uh, 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 that 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 moves that can move you to to remember who you are as a people and these types of things and, and that. And that's how it all started the other day with uh, me putting the Curtis Mayfield song into our little group. And then one of the brothers commented that he had been bumping that vibe the whole week, the Curtis Mayfield vibe and, 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 and lift, lifting up, trying to lift up the exhort brother spirit to stay in this truth and keep pushing and push through. So, okay, and, and, but, but one of the most famous songs in this movie is I'm Your Pusher Man. All comes full circle. But uh, like I said, I'm going to let a little bit more of this play and then I'm going to get into some of these scriptures. Superfly, to me, is the best movie of that era. This is Fly, that's Fly. See, Superfly to him was the best movie of that era. And like I said, it was iconic. It was an iconic movie, Okay. It was iconic, and they go, and you can go see this little thing, the documentary or whatever. It, the, the, the female that played Ron, Ron O'Neill's love interest talks about how she, when she first met him, a song and whatnot, how gorgeous she thought he, he thought he was, and all these other kinds of things. Light skin was in then, and all these other things. So, long story short, this is what this was, and this was a iconic movie of of deceptiveness and witchcraft that this either might wind up using and once they once these types of movies started dropping and the money that was being made and the fact that uh, 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 people of color was flocking to these movies to see these kinds of movies black exploitation which wasn't even a word back before this became extremely uh prevalent in the community and it changed it changed the landscape of our community so now let me go on uh I, I might come back and get some more of this, but like I said, let me go and uh, get some scriptures to back of what I'm saying. Let's start with Mark, Mark 4 and uh, 19.
Mark 419, and the cares of the world and the dis- And this is the parable of uh the word being sown into the in, into into different types of ground. This is as then read so it's Yahweh Shai speaking. Okay, and the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches. See, so like I said, this Edomite pushed the deceitfulness of riches out there in, in, a, in a, getting it in a wrong manner. But but who cares? Uh, uh, you know, who cares? You should care about how you get it as long as you get it. And once you get it, hold on to it. But then they changed the laws. I remember back in the 80s where they changed the laws where the RICO Act kicked in and you could you didn't have to you didn't have they didn't have to prove you was a drug dealer. You had to prove with all the wealth and, 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 and trappings of success that you would have from this that you wasn't a drug dealer. I remember the RICO Acts uh, during the during the Reagan administration. OK, and, and that's what made people stop putting stuff in their mama name. And that's that was even a song. Uh, a Birdman even came out. I got everything in my mama name. I'm still fly. Ha ha ha. The, the whole deal. So the, the, it, it, it influenced a, a, the, this movie here, Superfly, embedded in these scriptures, influenced a whole mindset. Of, of trying to get around this man's laws, but he he kept flaunting the wealth that was in it in the process and kept filling up his jails with Southern Kingdom. Okay, even though it, it, it's a documented proof that the Edomite committed more crimes and and and, and those t- in those times than we ever did. Okay. And the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of the uh, of other things entering in choked the word and it became unfruitful. How, you know, like I said, this is 1972. I moved out of the projects in 1972 because they decided they wanted to make it low income. They let you in and, and young men were seeing guys like my dad that could go and make an honest living as a auto mechanic, foreign auto mechanic, have two cars. He had a Rambler and whatnot, which had a push button transmission on it. Then he had a 50 something Oldsmobile, big long fish, uh, big fins on the back of it type of thing. He had a friend that I can't think of his name, his name, but he had a custom paint shop. My dad was an auto mechanic. So, you know, these guys kind of fed off of each other. You know, if if they needed a paint jobs or whatever, my dad would let people know where they could go and get, you know, a good paint job at a decent price. And if their cars wasn't running right, you know, his buddy that owned the, owned the, uh, the, uh, owned the, uh, car uh, on the uh, body shop would turn them on to my dad and the car that he had if you remember the car from blood and bones that that lincoln mark that the that the oriental cat that was sponsoring michael Jai white as a fighter he had a car just like that and had a deep money green and he used to pull it in and put it up on a rack in front of his shop so when you came by you could walk by you could walk by his shop and this car would be sitting up on that rack so you could get a chance to see the the intricate detail of of just how clean this car was and just how meticulously he had put this car together okay and this type of thing okay but that was all that was all being uh, uprooted with the deceptive practice of being a dope dealer and being a, a, a pimp, okay? And and this type of thing. I'm going to go get the next scripture, though. A lot of setup and whatnot, because like I said, I lived this. I lived this, and I saw this happen. And I saw how this man uh, 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 took society and, 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 and through, 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 it was the will of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, and took, but took society and corrupted it for his own benefit 
but now he's now he doesn't want to pay the price now that it's winding down and he's and he's being exposed though you know the man the man of sin a perdition he's being exposed now now he don't want to be that part they don't want to teach uh, uh they don't want to teach uh slavery and, and what happened in America uh here anymore now huh it's Ezekiel uh 18 I'm starting 23. Have I any pleasure in all the wicked? Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, says Lord Power, and not that he should return from his ways and live? Okay. But when the righteous turned away from his righteousness and committed iniquity, and how was hey, and he was influenced to do that. The, the, the southern kingdom was influenced to do that. But as, as being part of the two third, they would go do it. They, they would go do it, okay? And do it according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth. So the two thirds want to follow Esau and his wicked ass plans and what he's got going. Shall he live? No, he's got to go through the second death. All, all his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned in his trespass, that he has trespassed, and in his sin that he hath sinned. In them shall he die. So this man's following after this. So this, these entertainers and everybody else right now, they're going to die in their sin, following this Edomite and what he's got going. Okay? And all, all the deceitful practices that, that he's pushed over the years to get rich or to be rich in this society. And it's still just crumbs compared to the, the trillions of dollars that the Roth, the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the Bilgerbergs, the DuPonts, the Gettys, and these men had amassed over the over the centuries. We're gonna call it centuries, okay? Because the Rothschilds go back to the Bowers, okay, in Portugal, Spain, okay, and then so, okay. And, um, uh, 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 that Ralph child that just died that was the, the the character of Mr. Burns in The Simpsons. I know he's sitting there with 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 a with a hell of a stare on his face now, knowing that he's got to he's absolutely he's got to come back and and, and, and be set down in that fire. Okay, he's absolutely has got to come back because because a lot of the wickedness they controlled. And they put them policies in place. And him at his age was one of the key cornerstones of, 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 of devising those policies. You know, he, even though the scripture says that he'll sleep upon, he, he can't sleep upon his bed until he devises. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah, there go. Michael, two and one. Uh, Michael 2, I'm gonna start, uh, 1 and 2. <clears throat> Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. He lays up. He, that that man right there, the, the Mr. Burns character, the, the actual Rothschild that that character emulated, he did this. No doubt about it. He did this. He laid up on his bed and, 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 and devised iniquity, uh, 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 iniquity plans and had it put in place. He was absolutely, he was absolute, that was absolutely part of what, what he was allowed to do on this planet. No doubt in my mind about it. And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take and take them away so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Yes, the Rothschilds are absolutely at that as one of the top families, Amalekite families on the planet, absolutely guilty of this. Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, so verse, so let's, let's not forget verse three because they love verse one and two that they was able to do that, but they they want to miss verse three. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, behold, against this family do I devise the evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily 
for this time is evil. See, they don't want to do that part of it. They love number one and two and the fact that they were allowed to do it. But they don't want to face number number three, verse three of this. Okay? They don't want to face three. Now, okay, let's go back to uh, Ezekiel. Um, let's see. Let's go back to Ezekiel. I just had to. I just had to go and get that. Okay, let's go back to Ezekiel. Eighteen, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Okay, Ezekiel eighteen, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Okay, have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Says Yahweh. Says said Lord Power, and not that he should return from his ways and live. So now, he doesn't, he doesn't have that for the two-thirds, but the two-thirds out of two-thirds. He's, they, they were designed that way because this is what they, this is how he designed them, okay? All right? But when the righteous turned away from his righteousness and commit a mic commit iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth. Shall he live? All his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned in his trespass that he has trespassed in his sin that he hath sinned and them shall he die. So the two thirds are going to die to death of, 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 of the wicked. They go die to death of the wicked. Okay. All right, let's go over here to Jeremiah. Four and nineteen, Jeremiah four and nineteen. Jeremiah four and nineteen. For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are Scottish children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And even when the knowledge is being pushed in front of them, even when the knowledge is out there in the street, wisdom, Sophia, Sophia is wise in the street, telling them how and what they need to do to get back to the righteousness and the forgiveness of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. They'll even combat that as in they know the name when they say, Jesus, know my heart. He knows that your heart is wicked because you're being told the truth. And you don't want to hear it. So you want to close you want to close your ears and pull your shoulder and not hear the truth, even when it's being told to you. So since you that's what you want to do, that's that's one of the reasons why. Why? Because you you believe you believe the Kool-Aid. You drank the Sinai Kool-Aid that this Edomite has put out here in the world. You drank it. Full full go full full gulps. Drunk it down, drunk it down, swallowed it down, okay? Drunk it down. Second Corinthians, let me go here. Second Corinthians 6, 14 and 15. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians 6, 14 and 15. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteous, righteousness with unrighteousness? And what uh, communion have light with darkness? And what concord, and what concord can Mashiach with Bilal? Or what part hath he that believeth with the infidel? So we stand out there and we push the truth. But if you want to come up and think that you're going to convince us something why something different, no. Why? Because we done lived it. We done seen it. We done seen the, the, the truth of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy come, come, come to life. And we're watching it come even more and more to life with the, with the Iran-Israeli thing. Okay? With the, uh, the, 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 Ukra the Ukraine and the Russian thing. OK, just to name a couple. OK, we watch we watching uh, 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 Ishmael and Esau square off in the, in, the, in the Western Asia. And we watching Esau square off against Esau with Ukraine, which was actually part of Russia 
at one point in time. Okay? So we are watching the truth square off and, and the scriptures square off exactly like they said they was going to. So why will, why will we now fold, push our cards in when he says if you hold that hand to the end, you're going to be a winner no matter what. Because if the, the cards says that Yahweh Shai is the son of Yahweh, that he shed his blood for the elect, and that we're to go out there and push that truth, and that we wasn't going to be perfect in doing that. But we're going to ask for forgiveness. We're not going to try to sin and sin less, and we're going to keep pushing the truth. No matter what. You said he's come, he come, he's a physician. He come from the sick. He didn't come to heal the righteous. He come to heal the sick, the ones that are still in this shit. But they realize they in this shit. They want out of this and they're willing to do the things necessary to be in season and out of season. Because the, the, the line has been drawn. And it's going to be drawn even more when this Mark Anthony shows up of of uh, revelation. See, and you, if you in a if you in any kind of Israelite camp and they're not pushing this revelation chapter, they're not pushing the, the the pure names and this revelations chapter 13, 14, and 19, and getting you to understand it, if they're not pushing this, they they don't mean you any good. Period. You got to get up out of there. Like I just said, you 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 in you in you in house with an infidel. Revelation thirteen. We started about twelve. Revelation thirteen and twelve, and he exercised all the power of the first beast. What is that talking about? That's the old Roman Empire before him, and causes the earth and and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And who he exercised all power of the first beast. Who is that? No, let, let me rephrase that. He exercised all power of the first beast. The first beast was that of the Roman Empire. Okay? Who's exercising it now? The second coming. Rome 2.0, which is here. Babylon, America, Sodom and Egypt. All that is rolled up in, in metaphorically in, in similitudes and parables of this of this nation here on this Western Hemisphere called America. Azareth in the in uh in uh the apographer. Okay. And he does great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. He did that in Yugoslavia. With all that bombing raids, definitely did it with some of the, uh, with the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, as well. It made it made the whole world gasp and say, "Who who can fight with this man? He's got this kind of fucking firepower." And to see with them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. The Roman Empire, the government, the buildings, everything. House of Representatives and the Senate, the, the, the what, the plebes and the, uh, the Fabians faves, or whatever it was. I can't get the names, but two, two, two uh, 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 sets of uh, voices in council ruling the people, and that's what you got here. But in actuality, it's all, that's all a front because the the uh, the the electoral vote trumps the, the mass vote when it comes to electing officials here in America in the first place. The president is elected by the people. He's elected by an electoral vote. And the electoral vote is controlled by the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the Bilderbergs, the DuPonts, and the Gettys anyway. Okay, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that the image, that the image of the beast should both speak and call, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. 
If you don't want to go along with this society and this system and everything that you see going on, eventually you're going to you you you're going to be forced to deal with that one way or the other. And he calls both all small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell. So all you people talking about is an embargo and all this other kind of shit. You can't you can't put an embargo in your forehead. You can't put an embargo in your hand. Okay? And those ones that told you that if you have to take this or have to take that to 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 maintain your job and your livelihood and all this other kind of stuff, they mean you no good either. And that no man might buy nor sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six six six. So once you take that. There's no redemption. There's no coming back. There's no, Lord, can you forgive me? No, you did that. You established the fact that this Edomite that's going to force, going to force this down everybody's throat because it said both small, rich and poor, small and great to receive. He's going to force it down everybody's throat. And if you take it, you, you're, on the, you're on the side with the leprous man that can't stand in the sun for too long without having to put suntan lotion and everything else on. That has got that and that, I ain't talking about the Joe Six Pack. I'm talking about the ones that 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 own the Federal Reserve. That is a private owned bank named the Federal Reserve. And then some in those people. And the third this is Mark of uh, this is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast at his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation as righteous judgment, and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Who's looking to be part of that? The hopeful elect. 144,000. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You can't get around this. This is right here in the scriptures. You don't want to believe it? Don't have to. It's going to happen anyway. Revelation 19 and 20, and the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image. Both These both were cast into a lake of burning fire. So how you go throw hell in the hell, huh? Since the lake of fire is supposed to be hell, how you go throw hell into hell? You motherfuckers don't know these scriptures. And that's it. That's all I got to say. And this movie here, let me me go back here. And this movie here played a very big part in starting that starting that narrative in the Southern Kingdom. Okay. By the time you got to Scarface, Tony Montana, Northern Kingdom was linked in too. But all of this, all of this, all of that, all of this, all this stuff that these people are saying and talking about, okay, the movie, Ryan O'Neill, she's talking about how when she met him, he was so fine. She thought he was so fine and all of that. Yeah, all of this, all of this was a big influence in our community. Okay, he said he was gonna get thirty million dollars in six months and get out the game. And Curtis Mayfield's soundtrack, the man that made so many inspirational songs that could, that will lift you up, was who they was was who this Edomite went and got to fucking do the soundtrack. And 
and they they let this was one of the first guys in the first movies where a black man I'm gonna say black because that's what he is void of light a black man actually got the the, the best of a Edomite in a movie and that was a powerful statement but he was on the wrong side of the law when he did it And that made that made our people go that route, and we filled up their prisons, and they started trading them on the fucking New York Stock Exchange. So don't get mixed up as to what happened and how. Don't get it mixed up and how. And now you got females out here that says they want, they love scam. They want a guy that's a scammer and all this other kind of stuff. They have no motherfucking conscience. And and this movie pushed that too. So I hope that this was edifying to know how this man uses, uh, 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 pushes deceitful practices in movie and music. And our people have followed it. And even though we're out there telling them what's going on right now, they still don't want to believe us in the truth. So for those that are in the truth, I hope this is edifying. And for those that are out of the truth, y'all go see what the result of not being able to catch the truth is going to be in the end. Hearty Shalom to the hopeful elect. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, elder bishops as well. Kwam Yasharala.